By now you know us here at UTR, we're always looking for that really cool and unusual restaurant in any town we go to. And here in Muskegon, we found a great one. And thank goodness, cause I'm starved. Come on guys, let's eat. Mia and Grace is a restaurant that's really turning culinary heads here in Western Michigan. And that might be because it's owned and operated by two of the most passionate food people you'll ever meet. Jeremy and Jamie Paquin, along with a little help from their daughter Mia, have taken old-fashioned values to an entirely new level. Everything that comes out of this amazing kitchen is made from scratch. And I mean everything. Love the work they do and love the whole philosophy of the whole thing. Muskegon, for the first time ever, has a restaurant that's really first class and really unusual and really good. They're so creative with what they put together and it's really unique, everything on the menu. I mean, you'd never have stuff like this anywhere else. So you make a lot of your own foods here. We make all of our food here. We make everything. We here. make pasta. We make bread. Yeah, you make the ketchup too. Right? We make the ketchup, we make the mustard, and we make the hot dogs. You make your own hot dogs? We make our own hot dogs. Yep. When do you guys find time to do all that? Every day. I mean, we work We work a tremendous amount of hours. We, um, you know, we live upstairs in our building, so we oh. own it and we live upstairs, so it's a, it's a short commute. Yeah. Very short in the winter, of course. And uh, we're just constantly working. We're constantly, you know, we're so passionate about the food that we're constantly trying to reinvent ourselves and always come up with trying to one-up ourselves. You know, how can we do better? How can we make that dish better? And just one look at their menu board will tell you that you're in for something special. I saw some unusual things on the menu. Yeah. I saw yeah. duck and pancakes. Sure. I saw oyster and bacon. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, absolutely. What, where do you come up with this stuff? Well, I, I think what we like to do is, is to introduce familiar foods with maybe exotic ingredients. So for a, an everyday customer, it can come in and say, well, I know what a bacon melt is, right? Mm. I'll throw some fried oysters on there. It'll be all right. And it kind of introduced them into something unique. Well, people, like the people I talked to out front, you can just tell that they're just enamored with the place because there's nothing else like this around here. And that's why we love discovering places like this because we appreciate good food that's real food yeah. and that's locally grown. You use a lot of local stuff? We use a ton of local stuff. I mean, we have 10, 12 different farmers. We get anything from blueberries to pork, lamb, farm eggs. I mean, we trade, we trade our vegetable scraps from farm eggs from a guy up in Whitehall, and he sees us twice a week. He's a great guy, and, and those relationships are you know, just as important to the success of this restaurant as the food and well, that's our what makes work. the food great. Instead of having Absolutely. a big food service truck pull up and back, Absolutely. And give, you're actually dealing with local farmers, local, yeah. You're dealing with real people. You know, you know you're knowing where your where your food's coming from, what kind of how they're caring for the food. And caring is a perfect one word description for me and Grace, because so much of it goes into every detail. So you grow your own spices, you make your own hot dogs, you make your own ketchup, you make your own mustard, you make your own sausages. We make cheese. You make cheese? Ricotta cheese. Um, it goes on the sausage ragu. It goes on the cheese plate that we do. We make crackers, 11 different breads. You guys, you guys are like scratch. natural, local, mad scientists of food. It's, it's like, just good food. It's the way to do it. It's the only way to do it. Now, the food you're putting up right now, it looks incredible. Who is this for? It's for you guys. <laughs> yes. It's I knew for that. You guys. I knew that. Yeah. But I'm just wondering. Now, tell me really quickly what we're having here. This is a Italian sausage ragu, spinach pasta, homemade ricotta cheese, homemade focaccia garlic toast. Our uh, house-made pork sausage in there. This is a house-made lamb sausage on homemade pita. This is our house-made hot dog, sweet potato chips, homemade mustard, homemade ketchup. We pickle the onions. We make the pickles. This is the shrimp and grits with cornbread croutons right here. All right. For once in my life, I'm speechless, which is fine because I don't think we need to say anything else about Mia and Grace other than you've got to get over to Muskegon to taste it for yourself. Incredible. Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing and Development Authority 